If you want to sell digital products or print-on-demand products, often you need to apply to a marketplace like a Creative Fabrica or a Displate. So having a professional-looking portfolio is really key. It's also an awesome tool to have if you're a professional artist or graphic designer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an online portfolio, basically a website that showcases your artwork, samples, or pretty much anything using Wix. This video is sponsored by Wix. Wix is an all-in-one tool for website creation. It's professional and has some really great intuitive features. Now, if you don't have a Wix account, you can click the sign in button and then you can create an account. You can either sign up or you can simply log in. Now, I'm going to put a link to this in the video description below. So I'm just going to log in. I already have an account and we'll get started. Now, when you first log in, you may see a My Sites if you have a site set up. So, for example, I have my blog here set up. It's the Crafty Stacks blog, but I'm actually going to create a new site today. So, I'm going to go to the top right and I'm going to select the blue button that says Create New Site. Now, I'll ask, what type of website am I creating? So, I've got a few different options here. I'm going to select Portfolio. And what this really does is it gives us templates now that we can select from. So, I can do a journalist portfolio, game design, writing, and so on. Now, because I'm doing an art portfolio to showcase my digital designs, I'm going to do a general portfolio and we'll see what comes up. I'll select Next. Now, we're going to get a decision that we need to make here. It says, Let Wix ADI create a website for you. I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to be using the website with the editor. So I'm going to edit a template. So I'm going to select edit a template. Okay, and then from here I can scroll down and I can see different styles and I can even select the view option if I wanted to see it. So this Jessica Priston, for example, I'm going to select view and we can see here it'll run through a little demo of what it looks like. That's a nice feature. I'm going to keep scrolling down. I'm actually going to go to the second page and I'll see if there's a website template that I'd really like to use here. I'm actually going to pick this one right here. This is a graphic designer portfolio and I'll select edit. So a really nice feature when you're going through these portfolio templates is that anything you see, if you hover over it, you can pretty much just replace. So this just says text. I'm just going to double click inside of it and now I can just simply type in my own name in here. So this will be my Crafty Stacks portfolio. I simply click outside the box and you can see here now it's changed. So Crafty Stacks portfolio. This here says graphic design portfolio. Maybe I'll double click this again and I'll remove the word portfolio up here because I've actually got it down here. That's a really nice feature. I can also change the page background. I can simply select this. Maybe I'll select the New York City skyline. When I simply click outside of it or I click the little X, now I've got a background image. Now I can also change the actual pictures that are on this portfolio page as well. It's pretty straightforward. You just simply click on one of the pictures and then you can go into this Wix Pro Gallery. So I can manage my media. I simply click on this Manage Media button and that will now take me to a page that has all of my media selected, in this case pictures. So I can simply select it. I can reorganize it. I'm going to delete these out by simply selecting them and clicking the Delete key. And then I'm going to add my own images in. So I can drag and drop my media. I'm going to add media over on the right hand side. And I'll add an image. And now it'll ask me to upload my media right there. And we can see here now there's designs being uploaded and it's showing me the progress. Okay, so I've got my eight designs now uploaded into my media library and now I can simply select on any one design. In this case, I'm going to do 01 cat. I'm going to select that. You'll see a little preview here on the right hand side and now I can add to the page down on the bottom right. And we can see now the cat has been added. I can move him over so I can put him first and then I can simply select the trash button to remove these other designs. So now I've got one added. I can now add media on the top right. I'll add an image and then from my library I'll look for number two which is my little psycho kitty here and I'll click add to page and now he'll pop up as well. If I change my mind later I simply can just drag them around and I can modify them as I need to. So now I will add another picture. Click add image and I'll look for number three which is my purple cat here. Now if I wanted to change this I could modified. There's crop and edit tools. There's adjustment tools. So for example, if I click the adjustment tool, I could, if I wanted, change the brightness of the image. I could change the contrast, 
highlights, shadows, color saturation, and so on. There's some really nice features here with the filters. If I'm not happy with that and I just want to keep the original, I'll simply select cancel and then leave and then I can just add it as I originally intended, add to page. And we'll see number three pops up. Okay, I'm going to add the rest of my photos now. All right, I've got all eight of my photos uploaded and now I can simply select done on the bottom right hand side. When I do that now, I can see my gallery looks pretty swanky here. I've got the New York City background and I've got a bunch of mock-ups now sitting right on the main page. I could also move this entire portfolio around. I could actually make this to the left, to the right. I can actually move it however I want. And if I'm not happy with that, I can also just do Control Z and that will undo whatever change I made. So now it's back to the main page. Now down on the very bottom of the page, there's a little menu item here and it says portfolio, about, contact, blog, and book online. I could select that and I can move this around. I can change the elements inside of this. And if I double click on that little bar, I'm going to get a site menu here with links to different pages. So I've got a portfolio page, an about page, that kind of thing. By selecting it, double clicking it, I can now go to the about page and I can now work on that page as well. So I could type in a little about me, I can put a picture in there, and then I can simply save it when I'm done. So to change anything on any of these pages, you simply just select it. So here we can see it's the Crafty Stacks About page. I simply click and now I can change the image. Okay, and I've uploaded my little thumbnail for Crafty Stacks. I'll select Choose Image, and now we can see that the image itself has changed. Uh, and I'm going to type in something here for Crafty Stacks. I simply double click it and now I can start typing. Okay, so I've typed in my little text here. I'm simply just going to click outside of this. I'll click the little X and we can see now my About page is nice and simple and elegant. There's a little bit about here. I could add in some contact information if I wanted. And now again, I'll just double click on this horizontal menu down below. That opens up my site page menu. So now I could go to another page perhaps I would want to click on the contact page and now I will go to the contact page. So it says Crafty Stacks contact. I could have my email, my telephone, and there's a nice portal now so someone can actually submit a question or a comment. And when they click submit, it would go to whatever my email address is here that I've got. It's a really nice feature. If they have a question or a comment, they could now reach out through this portal. A really nice feature here is that if you double click on the horizontal bar down below, there's actually additional pages as well. So in addition to portfolio about contact blog and book online, I've actually got these other pages that I have not been using yet. You'll see the little eyeball has been crossed out. So for example, this is just a template that says tennis lessons website. If I click on that and I make it visible, so I click on show, this now becomes an active page. So you can see here now down at the bottom, it actually says Tennis Lessons Website. Now I could change that, of course, by double clicking the menu item. I could go to Tennis Lessons Website and I could modify the settings. I can change the name of it. I could delete it if I don't like it anymore. I can hide it. So you can turn on and off different pages and they'll populate down in the main menu item down at the bottom. Navigating through the website is pretty straightforward. There's a top left little drop down menu. And so I can go right to the top here and I can see recently viewed or my site pages. So I could simply click on portfolio and that will take me back to this main page, which is my portfolio page. So any of these website links down at the bottom, you can navigate by simply going to the top left and you can look through your different site pages. A really nice feature as well is at the very top here, you can see there's a desktop and then a little mobile icon and when I click on the mobile icon, it will actually show me what it's going to look like on a mobile device. So I'm going to click Let's Go, and I can actually customize it to my liking. I think this is a really nice feature. Scrolls with page, disappears, fades out, or fixed. So you can go through and you can make your mobile site look exactly the way you would like. So I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, and so I'm going to click the Publish button here. It's over on the right-hand side, top right. When I click Publish, now the site will become live. Congratulations, my site is now live. The domain that I've got with my membership is craftystacksportfolio.com. That's what I uh, picked. So I'm gonna simply click view site and now that is the actual site that will come up 
all right and my page is now published so you can actually go to this website it's craftystacksportfolio.com and you can see my different mock-ups sitting here you can see the live menu items down on the bottom it's a nice simple elegant website which is exactly what i wanted to showcase my great designs i hope you found this video helpful the video description has the link i'm really happy with the way this looks and if you found this helpful check out this other video about the superpowers that wix can give you and your online presence thanks a lot for watching